Okay, we've got another quick video explaining how to do conversions between grams and moles or grams and grams of a compound to elements within the compound. Like that. Okay, another uh, video here to explain how to go from grams of a compound to the grams of an individual element in that compound, or vice versa, go from grams of an element to how many grams of a compound uh, that you could get. So I have two examples. Uh, pause the video as you go along, follow along with these conversions, and this will make it a little bit easier for you to understand problems that you're gonna be assigned and have to do in the future. So let's start with the top one. <laughs> We've got 46.9 grams of magnesium phosphate, and we want to know how many grams of phosphorus are in that compound, or in that sample. So the first thing we're gonna do, and this is gonna be a common theme throughout all of what we do for the rest of the year, is we need to get our grams into moles. So if we add up that mass off the periodic table, we're gonna find that it weighs 262.86 grams of magnesium phosphate, and that's one mole of that compound. Now in that compound formula, we can use the ratios of the subscripts for ratios of moles. So if we have in one mole of this compound, we would have two moles of phosphorus atoms. So we say one mole of the compound and two moles of phosphorus. And our last step now would be to convert that moles of phosphorus to grams of phosphorus. If we look at the periodic table, one mole of phosphorus is going to have a mass of 30.97. grams of phosphorus. We get 11.051 and something else. When we take that to the correct number of significant digits, this has three. Our final answer needs to have three. We get 11.1 grams of phosphorus as our final answer. So all we are doing is using our gram to mole conversions that we get off the periodic table, as well as a conversion between moles of the compound and moles of the element from the actual compound formula. If we go in the opposite direction, we're gonna follow the same basic ideas. We're gonna to convert to moles, we're gonna use a mole ratio somewhere in the middle, and then we're gonna convert back into grams. So in this case, we're gonna start off with our oxygen, and we want to know how many grams of potassium chlorate we could get from 0 .0 or 0.453 grams of oxygen. So if we look at the periodic table, get our gram to mole conversion, there are 16.00 grams of oxygen in one mole of oxygen. From our compound formula, we can see that there is one, three moles of oxygen for every one mole of this compound. So we would put three moles of oxygen on the bottom to get our units to cancel out. One mole of potassium chlorate on top. And our last step would be to convert from moles of potassium chlorate to grams of potassium chlorate. One mole of potassium chlorate is going to have a mass of 122. 0.55 grams. That's going to give us 1.5656. And if we round that to the correct number of significant digits, again, we have three significant digits. Remember that zero doesn't count. We will end up with a 1.57 grams of potassium chlorate. So 
You have an example of going from grams of a compound to grams of an individual element. You also have an example of going from grams of an element to grams of the entire compound. Either way, the basic process is, this, is very similar. You're going to convert from grams to moles, you're going to do a mole to mole conversion, and then you're going to convert back into grams.